What's going on guys, it's Mike Seuss and today I'm gonna show you guys 20 hidden Tesla features that every new and existing Tesla owner should definitely know about. Let's go. So guys, there are a ton of hidden Tesla features, but today I'm gonna show you guys the ones that you're definitely gonna wanna care about, the ones that I think are the most useful. So guys, let's jump right into it. So guys, you can view a live feed of your Tesla's cameras and also speak through your Tesla's Xperia speaker using Sentry Live Mode and your Tesla app from anywhere in the world as long as Sentry Mode is enabled. So it's super easy. All you're gonna do guys is go to your Tesla app and then click Security and Drivers and then Sentry Mode. Make sure Sentry Mode is on at the moment and when you click on Live Camera, you guys will see the Tesla will turn on and then it'll show the live cameras. So right now it's looking at me in my garage because I'm standing in the front, but you can also look at the side camera, the other side camera, and the rear of the car. Now, what's even cooler about this app is that you guys can honk the horn, right? And you guys can also make the lights flash using this from anywhere in the world. But what the best thing is, you guys can speak through your Tesla's exterior speaker. So you ready guys? Listen to this. Hey there. What are you guys doing? Ha ha ha. I'm talking through my Tesla. Seriously guys, really cool and you can do that from anywhere in the world. All right guys, so this one is more of a hack for your Tesla. So you guys know you have to have premium connectivity to get access to streaming apps, music apps, and even karaoke in the internet browser. But what if I told you there was a way to do that without paying for Tesla's premium connectivity? So guys, for this, all you guys have to do is turn your hotspot on on your phone while you're in your Tesla and connect your Tesla's Wi-Fi to your cell phone's Wi-Fi hotspot. And that will open up and give you access to all of those things I mentioned. So you guys can get access to your music apps, to your streaming apps, to your internet browser, and even karaoke while you're on long drives. All right, guys, this will eat up your Tesla's data. So just make sure that you guys have some kind of unlimited plan. And there you go, guys. You do not have to pay for premium connectivity when you're driving your Tesla but I will mention there are two things that you will not get if you do this and that is live traffic visualization on the maps and satellite views of the maps so those are two things that you're not gonna get but it's kind of things that you don't really need if you don't want to pay for it so there you go guys there's a nice hack and I hope you guys enjoyed that one All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to get more streaming platforms on your Tesla besides the ones it comes with like Netflix and the others. So guys, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to your internet browser, right? And then you're gonna type in a bettertheater.com. This screen that you see now is gonna come up and as you can see, you now have access to much more streaming platforms like HBO Max, ESPN, and even Peacock and Paramount Plus. It's super easy guys, you just go there, it's already set up to be viewed on your Tesla and it's super responsive. So you have HBO Max and all those things and then also you have access to games that you guys can play on your Tesla as well, such as Tetris and then you also get access to other music streaming platforms. So you guys can listen to Pandora, Amazon Music, and even Apple Music right in your car. So it's super easy, guys. Just go home, pick HBO Max if that's what you wanna watch. It will load up. All you have to do is sign in, and then you can make this full screen and watch whatever you wanna watch right on your Tesla, just like you watch everything else from the other streaming apps. Definitely a cool hidden feature. Go get this one, guys. So guys, if you ever have a problem with your charger getting stuck in the charge port, I've had this happen to me many times and I know a lot of other people have had it happen to them a lot of times. There was one time I was at a supercharger and there was a couple who were there for over two hours because the plug was stuck in the charge port and they had no way of getting it out. And the thing is, I tried to help them and I did not know about this feature. So guys, there's actually a way to unlock your charge port in case of an emergency or if this happens. And I'm gonna show you guys right now, it's super simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the trunk of the car. And if you look in here, the left side of the trunk, if you look inside, there is 
this piece that looks like that in there and inside this hole right here there's a pull tab usually when you first buy your tesla if you don't ever go in here it's going to be tucked away like that so you have to reach inside and this little lever will come out so if your charging cable is ever stuck in the charge port all you have to do is pull this lever and there it goes it just unlocked and let loose of the charging cable that's plugged in the car guys super super crazy that i did not know about this and i know a lot of you guys didn't know about it either so there you guys go so guys if you're ever in autopilot like i am right now and you're going above the speed limit for some reason and in the corner of your eye you see law enforcement down the road and you want to change your speed as fast as you can without making it look unnatural this one is for you guys so when you're in autopilot all you're going to be doing is driving i'm going to increase the speed a little bit and you'll see the speed limit right there on the screen so when you see that speed limit and you're going above the speed limit all you got to do is tap that speed limit button and it'll automatically lower the speed to the speed limit or below the speed limit as fast as it can guys this one can save you guys a lot of trouble or it can even work in emergencies guys so there you go so guys this next feature is super cool and super useful i'm going to show you guys how to send an address directly from your cell phone to your tesla before you even get in the car right now i'm in the car but i'm going to show you how it works and it works exactly the same so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your phone to either your apple maps or google maps and then you're going to pick a location that you want to travel to and when you pick the location you're just going to click on it and then you're going to hit the share button and then you're going to share it directly to your tesla it's going to say sending and as you see it popped up on my screen and is already navigating and calculating the route but now What's even cooler is if I cancel this, you can also send an address if somebody sends you an address through text message or email or even through the internet browser. So all you're going to do is you're going to go to your text messages, right, and go to the address that the person has sent you. Then you're going to click on that address, hold it down, and then you're going to go to share. And when you share it, you're going to do the same thing and click share to Tesla. So it's going to open up and it's going to share it to your Tesla. And there you go, guys. The address was sent directly to the Tesla from the text messages. It's super cool and super useful and really, really convenient, guys. A lot of you guys do not know about this. There you go. Another simple and quick one is, if you guys didn't know, your Tesla sun visors can actually be extended. I know it's really weird, but a lot of people do not know this. So all you're going to do is take your sun visor down like this and you want to block the sun, but say you need a little bit more extension to block more sun. All you're going to do is just pull it out just like that. So as you can see, there's a bar there and it extends. Super simple, guys. There you go. Check that one out. So another useful thing is, as you can see, your Tesla has a gear shift right here and it has reverse, neutral, drive, and you can also put the car in park. But what a lot of you guys don't realize because it's nowhere to be found on this system is your Tesla actually does have a parking brake. And to engage the parking brake, all you're going to do is hold down the parking button. And when you hold it down, you're going to see now you have your parking brake on and it shows you right there and to get out of the parking brake all you're going to do is put your foot on the brake and lift it into drive or neutral or reverse so guys this is super useful if you guys plan on parking on a hill or maybe you have an inclined driveway Another simple hidden feature is that you guys can get home or to work much faster than typing in your home address or clicking home or work on a navigation screen. So all you guys have to do is swipe on the navigation input bar and you'll see that it says work. Usually this will say home if you're not at home. I'm home right now so it says work and if you were at work or another location when you swipe it will say home and you just click that button and it will direct you there right away. There's no pressing go or nothing like that. Just click home and it will already go all right guys there you go so for those of you guys who rather see the amount of range you have left instead of the battery percentage all you have to do is tap on the number like this 
All right, so now you see it changed into miles and it shows how much range I have. See, the thing is, it doesn't work if you tap on the battery icon. It only works if you tap on the number instead. So you guys can change this back and forth as many times as you like, whenever you want, even while driving. It's a super simple thing, but a lot of people don't know about it and now you guys do. So what do you guys think of these hidden features so far? If you guys are enjoying this content, make sure to give me a like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this, as well as Tesla reviews, product reviews, installs, and other things like that, guys. It really helps out the channel a lot and encourages me to make more content for you guys. All right, guys, let's get over to number 11. So guys, if you have a Tesla, you most likely have the Tesla app on your phone to let you do things like connect to your car when you get in without a key and have control over different things from your Tesla when you're away from your Tesla. But guys, a lot of people don't realize is you get these four quick controls on top, which is unlock your car, turn on the AC, open the charge port, or open the frunk of your car. But a lot of you guys don't know that you can actually customize which settings you want to go here. All you have to do is hold down on these settings and you can see a list of things that you can put there. So instead of opening the charge point, I might want to flash my light. So I'll take the flash and I'll just drag it on top and I'll switch locations, right? And there you go, you guys can customize that and a lot of people did not know that and still do not know that to this day until right now, guys. All right, there you go. Speaking of the Tesla app, another thing that most of you guys don't know is you can add a Tesla widget to your home screen to have faster access to those quick controls I just mentioned previously. So all you guys have to do is I have an iPhone is you hold down the screen, right? And then you go to the plus sign on the top and then you're going to search Tesla. Now you open the Tesla widget and you can select what kind of widget you want. You can have the small one you can, or you can have the medium one. I like the medium one because when you click the medium one, as you can see, I'm going to add the widget and there it goes right on top of my home screen. Now it's going to show me my car and it's going to show the battery percentage and its current location. Now it's also going to show those four quick controls that you have added in the previous hidden feature I showed you guys. So this is super useful if you just wanna open up your phone and get direct super fast access to locking your doors, turning on the AC, unlocking your charge port, or opening your trunks, honk your horn, all that other stuff you can do with the widget and it's super cool. I use this on my phone all the time as it's super easy and super, super convenient guys. Check it out. Okay guys, here's another quick one. When you have your climate control on, most people go here and they go here and they push this button to turn it off or to set the adjustments. So when you have your climate on and you wanna turn it off really quickly, all you guys have to do is hold on the climate control button right here. And there you go, it's off. It's super simple and super easy. It's a hidden feature that no one really knows about guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. All right guys, so another quick one is there is a way to get to your light settings super fast and super easy without going into the controls on the car. So all you're gonna do is push your left stock forward. And then when you do that, you're gonna get this pop-up which you can change your light settings. All right guys, so let me do that real quick again so you can see all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this in and as you can see, the menu's right there and it shows you exactly what you can do. All right guys, super simple, super easy. So this is another one about autopilot. Right now, I'm currently in autopilot. And as you guys know, with autopilot, there will be prompts on the screen that pops up every now and then to tell you to grab a hold of the steering wheel with slight pressure to show that you guys are paying attention. The thing about this is sometimes when you're grabbing the wheel, you can turn the car left or right a little bit without even meaning to, just to try and disengage that autopilot. But there's a better and safer way. And the easiest thing to do is when you're in autopilot, to get rid of that message is just just to tap up on one of the scroll wheels. So you can just tap it or swipe it up and it will get rid of that prompt. So there's the prompt there. All I'm gonna do is just swipe that button up and there it goes, the prompt is gone. All right guys, super simple and it's a big help for long road trips, guys. There you go. So guys, another helpful feature is that you guys can stop your trunk at a certain height that you want it to stop to prevent it from hitting things when it's in your garage or in other locations. So what you're gonna wanna do is just open your trunk and then when it gets to the height you wanna get it to, press the button and it will stop. You press this button here and it will stop. Now, 
If you want it to stay at that selection every time you open the trunk, you're just gonna hold this button. Now it made that beeping noise. So now every time I open the trunk, it's gonna stop at that height. So let's see. All right, now we're gonna open it. And there we go. It just stopped right at that height. It's not gonna go any further. So guys, if I wanna close the trunk, let's try it again and make it do a little bit lower this time. Okay, so I'm gonna open it and then I'm gonna press it right here. So see, it's not even all the way open yet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that button just like this until it beeps. All right, now I'm gonna close it. Okay, and then when I open it, it should stop right there. Boom, doesn't go any higher. So this is really useful guys. If you guys have something in your garage, such as the garage door, that the Tesla trunk can hit, it won't hit it and it will prevent it from doing that. All right guys, and you can change this as many times as you want and you can reset it by just hitting the button where you want it to stop at. All right guys, that's that. All right guys, so this next one is for all of you guys who may have kids and newborns or even carry passengers in your backseat on the regular. The Tesla comes with a mode called Joe mode, which what it does is it lowers the sounds of system chimes so it doesn't disturb your backseat passengers and it's super easy to put on. All you're gonna do is go to your system menu and click on safety. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down and you'll see a section that says Joe mode. When you see that, you'll see a section that says Joe mode. So it says enabling Joe mode reduces the volume of your car's chimes. The quieter the chimes continue to alert the dryer effectively and minimize disruption to passenger in the rear seats, AKA Joe's kids. So a quick background, Joe is a guy who reached out to Tesla and requested this feature. So Tesla actually reached back out, added the feature and named it after the guy who requested it, which is really cool. So guys, all you gotta do is turn this button on and now you see it says save and all of the system's chimes will now be lowered to not disturb your backseat passengers. So guys, in addition to the swiping gestures that I showed you guys on how to get to work and home by doing this, there are also other swipe gestures that you guys can use that come in handy. So usually guys, you see these two arrows, how to raise and lower the heat settings or the AC settings, but you can also just Hold your finger and go left and right to move it to where you want to go. It's much easier instead of trying to hit that button while you're driving, that little button to go left and right. This also works with the volume. Same exact thing. So you just hold on and you can lower it and raise it there. I've owned my Tesla for over a year and I have had no problems at all with my Tesla in any areas of owning the Tesla. Not one issue. But there is something that does seem to happen to some people when they're using their Tesla and it's little tiny nuances like things where your Bluetooth stops connecting or the main screen on your Tesla kind of freezes up and stutters a little bit and just starts to act strange. And people want to know how to fix that issue to make things better and just give the system a fresh reboot just to try to make things work again. And there is a way you guys can do that without doing anything crazy or calling Tesla or taking it into service or anything like that. So what I'm about to show you can fix a lot of things that may happen that you may experience when owning your Tesla when it comes to the infotainment screen. So guys, if your screen starts to act a little bit slow, maybe stuttering a little bit, or your Bluetooth doesn't connect, or your Wi-Fi doesn't connect, and things like that, you can reset the car by doing a soft reboot, and it's super easy. So all you guys wanna do is hold down on these two scroll wheels, push the buttons in for about five seconds. So I'm gonna push them in for five seconds. So guys, as you can see, after holding those buttons for five seconds, the screen turned black. So this is completely normal as the car is now rebooting. So the car is going to take around 50 seconds for that screen to come back on. So we'll wait for that screen to come back on and then get going. So guys, as you can see, the Tesla logo has just appeared, which means the car is turning back on. There you go, guys. The car is back on. You don't have to worry about 
your settings being lost or anything like that. Everything is exactly still the same. It's just a soft reboot to refresh the system, make it a little bit faster and get those things working again that wasn't working before guys. So super simple, easy fix for you guys. Don't go calling Tesla. Don't go going crazy. Do a soft reboot for any problems you may have and see if it fixes the issue first. All right, guys, we're down to our final one. And this final thing is just a tip. Did you guys know that you can improve your Tesla style, comfort, performance, and overall ease of use by getting aftermarket Tesla accessories like screen protectors, floor mats, and even game controllers. These things can make your Tesla super easy to use and you can find over 200 plus accessories at accessoriesfortesla.com. You guys can even find this super cool Cybertruck backpack that I think is really cool. All right, guys, go check that one out. That pretty much wraps this one up. What did you guys think of these hidden features? Is there anything on this list that you already knew or didn't already know? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you guys have your own hidden features that you have found out, make sure to drop those in the comments as well to help out the rest of the community, guys, all right? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, peace out. <music>